Creo Parametric 9.0 introduced a bunch of ergonomics enhancements, including with Mannequin. In another video, I showed how you could download the Human Factors library and install it and point a few config.pro options to it. You're going to want to download the new library for Creo 9.0 because there are a couple new mannequins available. Here I am in Creo Parametric. Let's go to the Mannequin tab. And now I will choose Insert Mannequin. And now you will see a couple additional mannequins. Here we have the Custom Male and the Custom Female. In other words, you're going to be able to customize these different mannequins if you have the appropriate license. I don't have the license, so I can't show it to you. But just be aware that if you get the Mannequin Analysis license, you will be able to customize your mannequins. Anyhow, let's choose She Will Be Sitting. And let me choose where she'll be sitting, what she'll be facing. That's good. I will click the OK button. And now that she is in here, here you can see that we have the mannequin tree. If you select the entire mannequin, you now have this 3D dragger that you can use so that you can reposition the mannequin exactly where you want them to be. And so you can translate and you can rotate to get them exactly how you want them positioned in your assembly model. Also, if you select an individual body part, well, you can click on it and you'll get the 3D dragger for that. So let's say I want to rotate her arm or let me just grab the ball in the middle. That'll allow me to do the 3D drag of the entire arm. And if you take a look, when you select a part of the body, it will highlight in the mannequin tree. Also, there are a bunch of icons and glyphs in the tree when you lock or you fix different parts. So for example, let me right click on the 3D dragger. Here is a new pop-up menu. And so you can see that we have different options like locking all degrees of freedom. In this particular case for this piece of the body, you can lock the X direction or the Z direction. I will choose to lock the Z direction for that particular component when I'm dragging it. And you can see that there's now a little lock icon and it is not filled in. Let me select something else, like let's select the leg here and I'm gonna right click on the 3D dragger. If I choose to lock all degrees of freedom, now the lock icon appears in the tree but it is filled in. Okay, let's select something else. Let me select her face and then right click. Here we have the option to fix the segment. And I'll choose that. And there you get a little sort of like anchor icon indicating that the skull is fixed. Then we can right click on it and choose to unfix the segment. And one other thing to note for mannequins, I'm going to throw a, another mannequin in here. Let me choose insert mannequin and I'll just grab the first one, which is for a kid the standing reference to place that mannequin and click the OK button just to place it in there. You'll notice that the clothing schemes are different between the custom mannequins and the mannequins that you had in previous iterations of the software. Let me go to the tree over here to show you another difference. I'm going to grab this other mannequin that was placed in here. And let's take a look in the tree. If I expand the tree, well, we have our read-only features folder. I expand that. Here you can see that we have regular assembly components. But if we go to the tree for the custom mannequin and expand that and go to the read-only features, these have different icons because the custom mannequins use the inseparable functionality. In other words, you are going to just have a single file that will be saved and managed on your computer. And this is especially helpful if you're going to be checking or managing these in Windchill. And so there you have it, a few different enhancements for mannequins in Creo Parametric 9.0.